Okay, welcome back to my channel guys. I know that was a little bit of a different kind of intro, but I was just showing you all the hall that we are having Myra's third birthday party at. We are currently in Toronto and we are having her birthday party here just because it made more sense. We don't really have anyone to have a party with in Winnipeg and because her birthday happens to fall during the time frame that we are visiting Toronto, we decided to do it over here. Her first and second birthdays were during COVID and it was also during the time when we had moved so it wasn't really a big deal but this is the first time we we're able to really celebrate so we wanted to I would say not fully go all out but we wanted to do something special for her and just be let her be able to enjoy the day. I hired a very very sweet decorator and she made my vision with this backdrop come to life. I did tag her in my Instagram if you guys follow me there you can check her out. It is party by star and she did the backdrop for us and she was super good and very very nice to work with. This is our little charcuterie table, grazing table. I put this together myself so um, it was a little hectic because I am usually a DIYer and I do plan and make most of the decor myself. But since I was planning this party virtually from Winnipeg and we only got here like three or four days before the party, um, I didn't really have time to do anything so I did have to rely on others to help out quite a bit. It was hectic. <laughs> it was not the most fun party to plan just for those reasons but I do think it turned out pretty well and our little circle of people here are very very helpful as well. We also only invited the families and friends of ours who had very young kids. Since it was a kids party we figured um, we'll just invite the young kids who will really truly enjoy it because truth be told I have a very large family mashallah in Toronto and if we invited all of our family and friends, it would just be too big. So even though this hall is very, uh, it's a very good size, it could accommodate a lot more people. We just kept it much less because we wanted to make it focused more on the kids and especially on Myra. I was lucky enough to have my cousin's family here from Africa. So they were able to join us. That was really nice because they haven't been here for several years and it was nice for them to be able to attend and of course I have my older Mamu and their family over and then there were some guests that were not able to attend so there are a few people missing This hall is one of my favorites. We have been to many parties at this hall and I've always kept an eye on it because I think it's such a great space. It's very spacious inside and it also has this huge deck in the back and in its secluded area. It's a conservation so there's really nobody around so if you wanted to do even have um, activities outside like you know water activities or things like that you could actually pull something like that off assalamu alaikum kaila kaila The menu for tonight is all Afghani food from Kandahar Kebab. It is one of our favorite places. I love their food and they, the portion sizes are really good. So um, we ordered from there and then Akil and a couple of his friends went and picked it all up. But it's so good. And pretty much everyone we know likes their food as well. So it's one of those options where you know you just can't go wrong. The next clip that's coming up is us doing Myra's cake cutting and you'll see that she starts crying and the reason is because she wanted to hold the knife and cut the cake by herself and we just wouldn't let her. Cut it. 
I'll also give a shout out to the girl who made the cake. She uses all halal ingredients and it was a pistachio cake and it was really tasty. If anyone's ever interested in knowing who she is, you can message me on Instagram. She is located in Toronto. All right, party's done. We are ending the night. Okay, go! Oh, coming apart. Whoa, look at that. There, Riza, show me. <laughs> oh my goodness. Marta, where's your balloon? Marta, where's yours? That's yours? <laughs> these balloons need their own space in the car <laughs> all these kids are taking home the balloons but i don't really know how they're gonna fit into the cars <laughs> anyways that's the end of the night thank you guys so much for watching these highlights make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my videos and i will see you all next time